Now we'll do the moment of inertia of a fully three-dimensional object, a cylinder, mass m, radius r, and height h. So this is the cylinder I found in the demo room. This is a Tresemme hairspray, ooh la la. We don't use this on our hair. I think there's some cannon that they fill this with this and they light it and it explodes and shoots something. I, believe it or not, I haven't done that yet, but I do eventually want to, want to do that. So we have our radius here, uh, we have the total mass, and then this is the height right, of a cylinder. So let's draw it real quick. We've got that and it goes down like this. This object, yes, here we go. Radius big R and the axis is the center and of course we mean the center like this, spinning around it's centered that way, and it has total mass m. All right. <clears throat> so now we're going to use the full volume formula. The moment is the integral of the density times r squared times dv. So we just got to decide how are we going to treat the volume element. So what we're going to do is do cylindrical coordinates, and we are going to do the shortcut from last time. So let's try cylindrical chords here, and let's imagine if we look down on the cylinder that we're kind of like we thought about for the disc, we're going to grab a little ring because nothing changes with theta as you go around, All right? So we'll grab a little ring and what we'll do is we'll unwind it <coughs> and think about what it will make. If you pulled that out, unwind it, you would get sort of a, you'd get a, a rectangular prism, a three-dimensional object, like that. So the height of that thing would be h. The uh, thickness would be dr. And let's see, then we got to go around, right? Going around would be 2 pi r. So whatever radius you're at for that piece, it's 2 pi times that radius. So that's why it's 2 pi times little r. I'm talking about all the different dv's we could use to add up to do it in a row. So uh, there's your dv, right? And your density here is, uh, this is your volume density, the normal kind of density. Rho is the mass m over the area of this, pi big R squared times the height. Pi r squared h. Okay, so let's set up the integral. So I is the integral of um, m over pi big R squared h, because that's the full volume, times a little r squared, times all of this. Um, h times 2 pi r dr. Right? h times 2 pi r dr. And right there is where the theta integral would have been if we'd have done it. We're also assuming that it's uniform throughout, right? So as we move up and down in h, it's uniform. So there's no need to think about doing an integral down the height like that. Um, let's see. So we can just start combining things. We can see cancel the h out, cancel the pi, and we're left with 2m over r squared times the integral of r cubed dr. And the limits for r is 0 to big R for, for the integrating little r. 0 to big R. This is looking familiar. 2m over r squared, 1 fourth r, little r to the fourth, evaluated from 0 to big R, the radius. So you plug that in there and you get big R to the fourth, and that 4 in this is a what? 1 half m big R squared. And if you randomly from the internet just came to this video and saw that, you wouldn't understand what's freaking me out. But I'm freaking out because it's the same as the disk we just did. Same answer. Right? Why is it the same answer? Well, because this height doesn't matter. So I think on the disk discussion, I said it's very important that the disk is thin and uniform, and I lied. It only matters that it's uniform. For the calculation we did, we ignored the thickness. We pretended it had no thickness. Well, if we give it a thickness, I mean, it's just a disk with a thickness. If we give it a thickness, but nothing changes as you move up and down along that thickness, then it's going to have no effect on the moment around this axis. It would have an effect on the moment around this axis, or about any other axis. But we, since we picked the moment going right down the center, the thickness, as you can imagine, doesn't really matter. Because the distribution of the masses from this axis doesn't really matter where you are in this thickness. It can be thick or it can be thin. And that's why the H is canceled out. And that's why the cylinder uh, comes out the same for the disk.
just for this axis.